In my previous video, you saw I failed to make a multi drone. Multi is not a bad firmware, but if you want to make a drone with this, then definitely you should have a lot of knowledge about PID. Otherwise, you can't. So, in this video, I will find out how to make a stable drone with multi -way. And even you can see with a lot of experiment with it. So, don't miss any part in this video. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB and EasyEDA. And I have been using EasyEDA for the last 5 years to make my PCB. In the same way, today's drone PCB I made in EasyEDA software. And with that, even you can order your PCB at JLCPCB from EasyEDA. The JLCPCB has came up with an excellent offer for you. First time any user register on JLCPCB website, you will get a free coupon of $18. This is really awesome, right? Other hand, you will also receive free coupon every month on SMT order. So, without wasting any more time, grab this wonderful offer by visiting the JLCPC website. Link is in the description box. I don't want to waste your time, so that is why I already made this frame with wood and some light aluminium. Even you can see, here I am using 30 ampere Samcon ESC. One ESC for each motor. I believe you can assemble it like me. And here you can see this is my homemade flight control board, which I made in my previous video. If you are interested, then you can watch my previous one. To make it easier for my subscriber to create this same board, today I am going to use this simple Arduino Nano and MPU6050 gyroscope to make my multi flight control board. So that is why now I need a copper dot board and I mount my accelerometer on this board, as well as Arduino Nano. According to this diagram, I try to make my circuit. And please note, when you solder every pin, be careful there is no carbon, because this is a flight control board. Your one single mistake might be a very difficult situation when you fly. Ok, you can see my board is complete. Now I have to mount this board on this frame. And make sure your board is straight and after then I make a 4 hole for 4 screw. Because I don't want my flight control board is vibrate when my propeller is spinning. Now I need a redo receiver that can communicate between my redo transmitter and flight control board. I made this receiver board a long time ago, but believe me, when I making this drone with it, I had a lot of noise problem. So today I don't want any such problems, so that is why I want to make a good PCB for it. So I start to make this PCB in EasyEDA software. After 2 hours later, my PCB design is complete. Next I order it on JLC PCB because I don't want any noise in my drone. And with that you know, the multi firmware is quite hard to calibration. So after 7 days later, I receive my PCB. And see, this is my PCB that I order. And see this PCB, this is a small and quite promising. So now time to put every component with it. And look, there is nothing here. Just an Atmega 328P IC and another one is NRF24 transceiver module. After everything is mounted, it will little bit like this once it is complete properly. Even you can compare my homemade receiver and this professional one. This is really awesome, right? And even you can see here I am using Atmega 328P IC. This IC using in Arduino Uno. And this receiver's PWM and PPM code, even Garber file, you will find in the description box. So don't worry about this. So next I mount this board on my drone body with zip tie. And after that I connect the flight control PPM signal input pin to the receiver PPM output pin. And after that next 5 volt positive and negative wire I don't forget to share with it. Ok now time to connect every ESC wire with my flight control board. So that is why I connect my left side front motor signal with digital pin 3. Even front side right motor signal will go digital pin 10. And back side left motor will go digital pin 11. As well as digital pin 9 is back side right motor. Ok you can see everything is complete. Now time to connect the USB cable to my quad copter to laptop for programming. Ok you can see this is my multi code. Ok great. So I open it with my Arduino ID. Next I open config.htap file. Next I modify it, this is X shape drone, so I uncomment it. Next I select the right gyroscope and the last one is obviously you need to modify what kind of receiver you are using. Ok, everything is done. So that is why I upload this code in my flight control board. But guys do not end here, now you need to config the right value with quad capta. So that is why I open the software that called multi GUI config. And here you can see lot of usable option are available for you. Next, now time to calibrate my quad capta. So that is why I make sure my drone is on a flat surface. So I click the calibration button and leave it for 5 seconds. So in my transmitters number 1 switch, I want to use arming mode. The next switch I want to use is angle mode. And you can see this is working very well, which I expected. 
okay guys now time for a first test so that is why here i am using 2200 milliamp hour lipo battery this is very high discharge battery so i connect this battery with my drone and you can see this is not stable in a roll side so i trim the roll side test it again and see now this is not stable for pitch side and after i trim the lot of way but i am totally disappointed this is not fly right way after then i analyze in very deeply and realize my drone frame is not good this is little bit flexible so i remove every part from my drone body and i order a new commercial drone frame to see why this is not fly you can see this is my drone frame let's mount everything i don't show you here how much trouble i had when i was make it but i am giving you the correct pid value but but guys but guys once if you are calibrate its pitch roll and yaw value in right way then you can use my pitch value then you can create it yourself if you are using same frame okay everything is mounted now time to test it again so at the end i success to fly my mile to drone so this is the very joyful for me i hope you can enjoy this video if you don't like this video then you can definitely dislike it and if you like this then please subscribe my channel see you in the next one